Hey YouTube, what's up? I just did a video of my stampede a couple days ago, but I did forget a couple things, so I thought I'd take a little more time and walk through the truck one more time here. Um, this is kind of my basher body that I use for the lake. Um, that's just an old Hummer body that I had done up. One of my first ones. I've got it decorated with some of the bits and bobs that have been inside of it. Nothing serious. It's just, like I say, it's just my basher body. I've got a couple nicer ones that I will run in the summertime for good use, but this is just something that I play with for now. Starting down low, I got F11 uh, RPM wheels. Uh, I got the MIP 17 millimeter hex adapters. Sorry, it's pretty dark. Let's see if I can make that a little bit brighter here for you. 17 millimeter hex adapters, uh, trencher wheels, pro lines, of course. Everybody seems to use those. They do work good. They're a good damn tire. Uh, moving up to the front again, of course. Same thing up front. I did tape the wheels with. Uh, Gorilla tape on the inside of them when I put them together and man does that ever stop the ballooning. It really is an amazing thing putting a couple wraps of Gorilla tape around the inside of the tires. I recommend that to anybody who's got to put together a set of tires. Stops the ballooning and the havoc that that creates when you're trying to drive a truck with tires that are about an inch wide. Anyways, moving on. Uh, I'll take the body off here and show you what we've got going on inside. Uh, there we go. We got the castle... 1-8 scale 2650 kV motor. I did put the blower motor, uh, blower fan on it, sorry. I got the Mamba Monster 2 ESC. Uh, mounted the switch down below nice so it stays there. I'm running an 18 tooth pinion with a 52 spur at the moment. See how that works for me. Uh, of course everybody lowers the body which is understandable because it sits, does sit too high. Uh, big bore shocks, aluminum shock caps. I have RPM arms, RPM links, front and rear sway bars. I also have the aluminum bearing retainers, as you can see there. You can also see the 17 millimeter hex adapters, how good they look. They're huge. You'll never spin those things off. They're awesome. Uh, MIP... CVDs there obviously I got the wheels on the Traxxas on the wheelie bar there for looks more or less than anything else going up front oh going up front again same shocks we got the shock guards front and rear RPM front bumper uh, I also have aluminum shock towers front and rear uh, just for looks more than anything else I also have the aluminum camber links up front all the RPM arms again up front. Oh, what else I got? I got the expansion tray, of course, for the battery since I do run the 3S. Right now it's just got one of my 2S batteries in it, which is um, a Venom. I haven't tried it much yet. I kind of just got it, and it's got lots of snow here, so I'm not running this thing in winter. It's not really a winter vehicle. Uh, looking underneath the truck, fairly clean chassis. As you can see, um, I do have STRC uh, bell cranks up front. Uh, I've heard re different reviews about those things. I'll let you know. So far, it seems to steer good left, right, and come center. That's some issues I guess they had. Um, one thing I point out is I'm trying the Antigy front CVDs. Eh. I don't know what I'm going to think about those things. I'm going to let you know on those things. Uh, mixed emotions about those things right now. I also have the uh, telemetry sensors all applicable. Unfortunately, my camera that I'm using is my cell phone. And that's got the thing, so I can't show you what it looks like. But it's kind of cool. It works uh, relatively close. I put a GPS in and the speedometer at about 60 kilometers an hour is only one or two kilometers out. So, you know what, that's acceptable. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I think that is kind of about it. Uh, I could just show you, I got a, an old 72 Chevy body hanging there, and then I got a 65 Ford hanging there. Those are my other bodies that I'm going to eventually run, but like I say, I haven't used them yet. I also have the stainless steel screw kit throughout the whole truck. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of a neat freak. I like my truck clean. 
I can't stand the rusty looking screws. Plastic gear cover obviously there. You know, I'm still missing a ton of things that you guy puts into these darn things, but let's just say a lot of money spent on this old stampede. I haven't had a chance to go in the summertime yet, play with it, but uh done a few dry runs on a on about 25 feet of carpet and boy oh boy is this thing gonna be fun in summertime. I'll tell you that right now. It is gonna be uh, fairly quick with a three or four S battery, depending on what you want to do. But uh anyways, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you folks again. Thanks, bye.